Welcome to Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition Full Season Introduction. So first we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. I originally decided, decided to do the Tecmo Bowl on the NES full season, but that one didn't work out because in that game you play like let's say week one. Well here's exactly what happened. I played week one against I don't remember who, but I beat him. So I moved on to week two against the Denver Broncos, and I got beat by them. In that game, you can't go to week three. If you get beat in week two, the next game you have to play over again week two against the same team, Denver Broncos, and you don't get to move on until you beat them. So the only way to win a Super Bowl in that game is to go undefeated all the way. So that game did not work out for doing a full season. But I did do a full season of Tecmo Super Bowl on the NES which was the one that came after just regular Tecmo Bowl and then I did a full season of Tecmo Super Bowl on the Super NES and this here is going to be Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition full season and pretty much the way this full season works out we're not going to see every single game obviously I will be playing as the Green Bay Packers and the computer will be all the other teams so there's going to be many Packer games, and the other games are all going to be computer controlled. So if the Packers aren't in there, it's going to be all computerized. So I've also got it set up where we will see every single team play one game during the regular season, just like the previous two seasons. And what I'm going to do in this video is go ahead and show the standings the last two seasons. I've kind of go over the last two seasons, so this is actually my third football season. Different game each time. So, the first two games might be, or the, I guess I should say the last two seasons might be kind of confusing because they're both just called Tecmo Super Bowl. One's on the NES, one's on the Super NES, so. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go over the standings and the Super Bowls, and I'll also be showing the upcoming schedule for this season. So, here we are with the first season, full season I did Tecmo Super Bowl on the NES. Take a look at the standings at the end of the season. Now the Buffalo Bills ended up with a 14-2 record, winning their division. Miami was in second. Head, those were the only two teams that made the playoffs from their division. In the AFC Central, we see the Houston Oilers and the Pittsburgh Steelers won their division. Or made it to the playoffs. Houston won their division with 13-3 record. Houston was actually pretty good in the last two seasons. In the AFC West, San Diego won their division. The Los Angeles Raiders were the wild card team 8-8 and, eight and, eight and yeah, these, most of these games are back when the Raiders were still in Los Angeles. They weren't the Oakland Raiders yet, so... Just to clear up a little confusion there for people who don't remember them when they were the Los Angeles Raiders. In the NFC, we've seen the New York Giants in their division 10-6. and six. Dallas Cowboys, close, had 9-6-1 record. We do see ties once in a while in this, these games, too. It's actually kind of common to see at least one tie every season. Now in the NFC Central, okay now you see the Packers, my team 9-7, Minnesota won the division, and my team, the Packers, were 9-7. But see now, I didn't play all 16 games, there are only 11 games that I played, and every single game I played was recorded and uploaded. So any Packer game, that wasn't uploaded, recorded, that was computer controlled. So, I auto skip through the other games that aren't uploaded and recorded. So anyways, I got the wild card in that season. In the NFC West, we had the San Francisco 49ers won their division, 11-5 record. The Los Angeles Rams, before they moved to St. Louis, had a 10-6 record wild card. So, we take a look at the playoffs in the AFC. Houston and Buffalo had the wild card spot. Miami Dolphins beat Pittsburgh 35 to 21. And I know the picture isn't very clear in this video because probably because it was 
originally recorded with my old camera, which I used my Android phone for. Anyways, the Raiders wildcard team beat the San Diego Chargers, who were the division champions. And we've seen Houston beat Miami. And the Los Angeles Raiders beat the Bills. Can't really tell what the score there is. Must be 37 to 24, but anyway, the Houston Oilers beat the LA Raiders for the AFC Championship to go to the Super Bowl. In the NFC, we've seen the Dolphins beat the Rams, or no, the Rams beat the, okay, I don't know why I thought that was the Dolphins, but the Rams beat the Cowboys 21 to 10. Me, as the Packers, I beat the Vikings 44 to 14. In the second round, we've seen the New York Giants beat the LA Rams 31 to 14. And me as the Packers, I beat the 49ers 35 28. Then I got the NFC Championship and I got beat by the New York Giants. I think that's 30 to 28. But it looks like 30 to 28. I'm not 100 percent positive. It's might be easier to actually look in the paper I have here. So I kept track of all the statistics, but the cool thing about this is when you get to the playoffs, all games are televised, I guess I should say, or re recorded and uploaded, whereas in the regular season it's kind of preset. So when you get to the playoffs, you have no idea what teams you're going to be seeing. But in this one, okay, it looks like I forgot to write down. Some, okay, I'm looking at the wrong page here, but so anyway, it was against the Giants, 38 to 28. Okay, I thought it said 30 to 28. It's 38 28. The Giants beat me, and the playoffs are the same. I control the Packers. All the other teams are controlled by the computer. So some of these games. You might see me win other games. You might see me lose. It's kind of unpredictable. And then in the Super Bowl, seeing the Houston Oilers and the New York Giants, the Giants beat them 35 to 14. So as we go through the season, each week we're going to see the one, two, three games, however many games there are. Sometimes there's no games. And then at the end of each week, I'm going to auto skip through the games, which I guess would be easier to go over when I actually show the schedule. So, anyways, the Giants beat the Oilers 35 to 14 after the Super Bowl. I also do the Pro Bowl, which is completely computer controlled. But season two was Tecmo Super Bowl on the S Super NES, and here we see the Buffalo Bills won the division with a 12 and 4 record. Indianapolis Colts got the wild card with 9 and 7. And Miami, New York, and New England just weren't good enough. So, it's pretty cool as the games go along. And Tecmo Super Bowl on the Super NES, the graphics, of course, were a lot better. And the cool thing about this game is there was rain, snow, and clear. You could choose, well, in preseason you could choose. In regular season, it's random. You never know. So, anyways, the Bills won the division. Colts also went to the playoffs. In the AFC Central, the Houston Oilers, the team that went to the Super Bowl in the previous season, actually had a 15-0 record, and they finally lost a game in the last week of the season to go 15-1. The only team in their division to make the playoffs. Kansas City Chiefs barely won their division by half a game. San Diego Chargers, Denver Broncos also went to the playoffs. In the NFC East, the Dallas Cowboys won their division this time, went undefeated 16-0 all the way throughout the regular season. Washington went 9-7, made the playoffs. This season, I won my division, and I had a 12-2-2 record. And one of those ties was against the Chicago Bears. It's a pretty good rivalry. Packers and Bears have always been... Being a Packer fan, Packers and Bears are always like the biggest rivalry for Packer fans, but 
Okay, I ended up... I think I got beat by him in first season. Actually, go back and see if I can find it. Yeah, I got beat 42 to 37 in the first season by him. Now in season two, we tied 14 to 14, and then week 10, the very next week, I tied 14 to 14 against the Chiefs. So both of those ties there happened when I was playing. But I won the division this time and headed Minnesota. Minnesota's actually been a pretty tough level routine for me in this game because in season one they beat me in the regular season. I ended up facing off against them again in the playoffs and I beat them. They also won their division in the first season. I had the second place spot. In the season I had the first place spot and they had second so yeah, it's been kind of a jump back and forth between the Packers and Vikings in my Tecmo games. In the NFC West, San Francisco 49ers finished with 13 and 3 record. We've seen the New Orleans Saints make the playoffs with the 8-7-1. So this season in the playoffs, AFC. Much picture's a lot more clear in this one. San Diego Chargers beat the Denver Broncos 10 to 7. We've seen the Chiefs beat the Colts 13 or 31 to 6. Round two, we've seen Buffalo crush the Chargers 51 nothing. And now the Houston Oilers, who had a 15 and 1 record, I was actually hoping to see them go to the Super Bowl again because it'd be kind of cool to see the same team go twice. Here they are a tough team throughout the whole season, but in that game against the Kansas City Chiefs, the quarterback Warren Moon got injured, and it was just all downhill from there. The Houston Oilers just fell and got beat 27 to 15. But in the AFC Championship, Buffalo Bills beat the Chiefs 20-14. Over in the NFC, we've seen the Saints beat the Redskins 14-10. 49ers beat the Vikings 3-0. Round 2, we've seen me as the Green Bay Packers crush the Saints 42-7. We've seen the Cowboys beat the 49ers 31-7. And once again, I got beat in the NFC Championship. This time I lost... 35 to 21 so what's really interesting is this game was made in like I can't remember what year it was made but anyways that same year or the year before or the year after one of those right around the same time the Dallas Cowboys and Buffalo Bills went to the Super Bowl in the real NFL and they did so in this game too but as you can see here, the Buffalo Bills crushed the Dallas Cowboys 24 to nothing. Whereas in the real NFL, the Cowboys won, beat the Bills in the Super Bowl. I think they actually beat them two Super Bowls in a row. But anyway, that was a look at the last two seasons of Tecmo Super Bowls. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the schedule for the upcoming season. Okay, here we go. We got... Okay, the reason the Arizona Cardinals and the LA Rams is, like, gray is because it was flashing. Because that's the first game of the season, so just ignore that. But anyway, all the teams we see in blue, those are the games that are going to get skipped. They're going to get auto-skipped, so we will get to see the score, but that's it. The teams highlighted in white, we are going to see those games. And the white team is, will be controlled by the computer. The team in red is the team that will be controlled by me, so... The only team we're going to see in red is the Green Bay Packers. So as you can see in week one, we'll see Cleveland at Cincinnati, Houston at Indianapolis, Minnesota at Green Bay. So in the first video, we're going to auto-skip through the first two games, and then we'll see the Cleveland-Cincinnati game. And then we'll skip through the Dallas-Pittsburgh game, and that will be the end of that video. The next video after that, we're going to see Houston at Indianapolis, and then we're going to skip through the Kansas City and New Orleans game. And we'll be in the third upload of the gameplay. We'll see me playing against the Minnesota Vikings. And then we'll auto-skip through the rest of those blue teams. And at the end of that, we'll see the standings for week one. So it will always be the last video of that week where we'll see the standings. And you're not going to see too many weeks where you see multiple games. Usually it's just going to be one game per week. But in the first week and the final week, I usually have it set up where I've got the most games. 
week two, we're going to see one game. Me as the Green Bay Packers playing against the Miami Dolphins. And I should add that out of all the Tecmo football games on the NES and Super NES, this is the one game that I have almost no experience playing. I played two games of this game ever because I've never played this game back when I was a kid because it just was, it's a very rare game. Because originally I had Tecmo Bowl in the NES, a couple years later Tecmo Super Bowl came out, and I think it was like a year later Tecmo Super Bowl came out on the Super NES. And then it was 93 when, or no, it was 93 when Tec Tecmo Super Bowl came out on the Super NES. This game didn't come out until I believe 95, but they came out with Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition at the end of 95, so this game really wasn't out there that long before they came out with the new game, so it's actually a very rare game. And this was the most expensive game I paid for off eBay. Most of the games I ordered on eBay range anywhere from like 3 to 10 bucks. This game here cost me 42 bucks. So I've only played this game twice. Two preseason games, I won them both, but... Most of these Tecmo games are pretty much very similar. If you're good at one, you're usually going to be about the same as the other ones. But... I can't guarantee that I'm going to be really good at this game, because you never, just never know. Anyways, week two, we're going to see me playing against the Miami Dolphins. Week three, I'm going to be the road team against the Philadelphia Eagles. Week 4, we're going to see the computer play as the New Orleans Saints against the San Francisco 49ers. So, we're going to, like I was saying earlier, we're going to see multiple Packer games. I'll be controlling the Packers. All the other teams, we will see them play one game in the regular season. Week 5, we're going to see me playing against the New England Patriots. Week 6, I'll be at home against the, the LA Rams. Rams and Raiders are both in Los Angeles at the time this game was made. I must say that I am surprised at how many changes that were made between this game and the next game because in the next game the Rams are the St. Louis Rams and the LA Raiders become the Oakland Raiders. Also we will see two expansion teams, the Carolina Panthers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Those two teams weren't in the previous games. And the roster, too. We'll be going over the team roster once I start playing the games. Big changes between this game and the next game. Anyways, in week 7, we'll see the Arizona Cardinals play against the Washington Redskins. Now, in the previous games, the Cardinals were the Phoenix Cardinals, but they changed their name to the Arizona Cardinals. Week 8, we won't see any games played that week. We will just auto-skip through all the games, so we will see the scores and the standings at the end of the week. And I'll probably actually see that during week 7 at the end of the Arizona-Washington game. I'll auto-skip through all those games there in week 7 and auto also auto-skip through all the games in week 8 to show the standings, so that's how we're going to do that one. Because there's really no point to just do like a 20 second video or 30 second video just showing week 8 auto-skipped in the standings. So we'll just add that to the end of week 7, this game. Week 9, we're going to see me playing against the Chicago Bears. We're definitely going to see a Packer Bear game every season. And, well, actually, we'll probably see every season we'll probably see an interdivision game, like I'll play the Bears, the Vikings, the Buccaneers, and the Lions. I try to split it up so we'll see two home games and two road games that are interdivision with the Packers. So I scheduled this year, I made sure I made it at Chicago because in the next season I'm going to make sure it's a home game playing against Chicago. Week 10, I'll be at home against Detroit. Week 11, I'll be at home against the New York Jets. Week 12, we'll be seeing me playing in Buffalo, which will be a pretty good game since the Buffalo Bills won the Super Bowl in the previous game. So, most of the teams are going to be pretty much the same. And these games are actually very accurate for how good they are to the time. Like when this game came out, they got all the players, like, for example, a quarterback on a team. 
let's say 97% of his passes were complete in this game about 97% of his passes are going to be complete they got each individual player like his all his statistics his running speed his catching ability his fumble like how often he fumbles you know defensive players how often they intercept they got everything very accurate so it makes the teams pretty accurate too for example just like how we've seen Buffalo and Dallas going to the Super Bowl in the previous season the same year that game was made we've seen Buffalo and Dallas go to the Super Bowl but there are some rare occasions in this game because there are injuries which may happen in this game that didn't happen in real life so that can affect the gameplay so it's not a hundred percent predictable which is pretty cool week 13 we're going to see Kansas City at Seattle and now as you might notice up there you see Green Bay playing against Dallas and it's not highlighted that's because that is a game I will not be controlling it's going to be auto skip so that way if I'm really good at this game and I dominate every game I play there's still no guarantee that I'm going to go undefeated because there are a lot of games of my team, the Green Bay Packers, that are going to be auto-skipped. And that's one particular game where the Dallas Cowboys will probably win because the Cowboys are pretty good in all the techno games. Week 14, there will be no games played. They'll just be auto-skipped. Week 15, we're going to see the Denver Broncos against the Los Angeles Raiders. I thought I already seen the Raiders previously. Let me go back and make sure we didn't see them play yet. Because it is possible I could have made a mistake. No, it might have been the Rams I was thinking of. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Okay, week 15. Denver Broncos and the LA Raiders we're going to be seeing. Week 16, we're going to see the Atlanta Falcons playing in Green Bay against the Packers. Week 17, we got the Dallas Cowboys at the New York Giants. Should be a pretty good game, considering the Dallas Cowboys went to the Super Bowl in the previous season. The New York Giants won the Super Bowl in the first season. It's also an interdivision game. So, it might be a pretty good week, or pretty good game since it's the end of the week. So, I like to make a lot of games during Week 17 because there might be like two teams fighting for a first place spot or a playoff spot and that might be the de deciding game so that always makes it more interesting we're also going to see the Green Bay Packers at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and then we'll see the Pittsburgh Steelers against the San Diego Chargers and hopefully we'll get to see a lot of rain and snow games I hate it when they ha there's like so many games that are clear weather I'd like to see a change every now and then, rain and snow, but... I made sure I made the 49ers play a home game in this game because they play in a unique field. The Denver Broncos and the San Francisco 49ers play in a field that's both used as a baseball field and a football field. I know in Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition they have that integrated into the game where the 49ers and Broncos have that unique field. It shows like the infield of the baseball game or stadium. I think they might have that in this game too, but I'm not sure. Because I've only played, as I said, I've only played this game twice. So, anyways, that's the intro to Tecmo Super Bowl Special Edition. Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition. And, hope you're looking forward to seeing the full season. I was able to show you the schedule of the games in the regular season now once we get to the playoffs it's unpredictable which teams are going to make it but we will see every playoff game along with the Super Bowl and the Pro Bowl so I hope you enjoyed a look at the season I should add that after this football season I'm also going to be doing another some more sports seasons so far I've done Tech Bowl, Super Bowl on the NES, as I already mentioned. I also did NHL 99 on the Sony PlayStation. And I did Tecmo Super Bowl on the Super Nintendo. After we do this one, Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition, I'm going to do a full season of MLBPA Baseball, where I'll be playing as the Chicago White Sox. And the schedule is going to be very similar. We're going to see 
many White Sox games, but we're going to see all the other teams just play one regular season game. And playoffs, we're going to have single game elimination, which I do in baseball and hockey, because we don't want to see the best of seven, that'd take too long. And after I do the baseball season, what I'm going to do is start Tecmo Super Bowl three final edition full season. And after I get about four weeks into that season, I'm also going to start NHL 08. I'm going to integrate the football and hockey season to the calendar here. So, you know, football starts in September. Professional hockey starts in October. So after the football gets like to week four, which would be October in their time, actually probably week five, would be like October in the football season, that's when we're going to start hockey, and we're going to be jumping back and forth between football and hockey games in the full up, full seasons, and in hockey I'm going to be playing as the Chicago Blackhawks, just as we've seen in NHL 99, but in case you haven't seen my videos yet for NHL 99, that turned out to be a pretty disaster, because NHL 99 was just full of glitches, many games I'd record and it wouldn't save, so I was also having problems with my previous cam at the same time, so yeah, that was kind of screwed up, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed my introduction, give you a better understanding of the season we're going to see once we start the first game, week one, I'll go ahead and show the rosters of the Green Bay Packers and the playbook and pretty much go over everything go over more detailed information that we didn't see in this video so hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video which should be week one